do. We're now going to perform the TVC test, but please remember that for each of these tests that we're doing, you are using one thio sample bag per test. You cannot add one powder sachet on top of another into the sample. So, with the TVC, total viable counter bacteria method, we're using these plates. These are these hydrated plates which you need to open. And as you can see, each foil wrapped set contains four testing plates. So you just take off one plate for testing. The test requires a 1ml sample, so using the 2ml sterile syringe, go to the sample that you've already taken in the thio bag and take up 1ml. Using the sterile wipes, you'll wipe the top of the dilution pot, which contains 9ml of solution. And perforate the sample and add in the one mil. Then agitate the sample. And you would suck up one mil. You will open the lid of the plate. and you would add the one mil sample onto the plate and reapply the lid. Before doing this test you would have already put on the digital incubator which comes with a preset temperature. To adjust the temperature you would either use these up or down arrows to achieve the required temperature for the test. For each of these tests all the required temperatures and incubation periods are stated within the EasyCam Marine Potable Water Test Kit Manual. You would then place the total viable count method into the incubator, place the lid and close. Using another 100ml sample bag for testing coliforms E. coli, Pseudomonas, Enterococci. These are powder capsules. Very easy to open. Making sure this is at the 100ml fill line, you would empty the contents of the powder capsule into the sample bag. You would then twist the sample bag round to seal like so and then you would add this into the incubator to be incubated for the required set temperature as mentioned in the manual.
The same principle is applied for both the pseudomona and the enterococci method. For potable water, using the polytag method, you're looking for a change in colour for the coliform method. And using the supplied UV lamp, if the sample fluoresces, you will have E. coli. The same principle for colour changing is for both the enterococci method and the pseudomona method. So what we're really saying is with these particular tests, any colour change or any fluorescence of the sample is too much because there should be zero counts in potable water. After the required temp incubation of the TVC plate, if there is a number of total viable counter bacteria present, you will have red hollandy spots that will appear on the dehydrated plate. You will then count how many red dots appear and you will multiply that by 10. This is clearly shown and demonstrated within the manual supplied. This particular plate will be easily read with up to 200 red dots. For total viable counter bacteria, any counts above 1000 CFU per mil are deemed too much.